Hi everyone, I'm Karen Nicole Pio Campo and today I'm going to present my Python application program which is an arithmetic sequence calculator. Let me define first the arithmetic sequence. Arithmetic sequence is a list of number where each number is equal to the previous number plus a constant called common difference. By providing the term, this calculator will help you calculate the missing term of your arithmetic sequence, like finding the last term, first term, common difference, and the number of terms. It will also show you the sequence of the arithmetic and the series or the sum of the arithmetic sequence when the user is using the general term or finding the last term. Let's run the program. So when we run the program, the first thing that we're going to see is the welcome and under that is the selection of choice which is A, B, C, and D. In A, we have here finding the last term, B is finding the first term, C is finding the common difference, and D is finding the number of terms. Next is where we input our choices. So we have A, B, C, and D. So for example, we will find the last term, so we will select A. After selecting our choice, we are asked to put our variables or the inputs of our variables. So for example, we have the A1 or the first term, we have 23. The number of terms we have 14 and the common difference is 7. So after entering this variable, it will automatically show how the program calculate the end term or the last term. The good thing about this program is that it will show the formula used and it will substitute the variables into the formula before giving the final answer. As you can see that the last term is 114. Under that is the sequence of the arithmetic. So it will show you the A1 until the 14th term or the last term, which is 114. Another perks of this program is that it will show the sum of the arithmetic sequence. And in here, we have 959. But as I've said earlier, the only one that can show the sum of the sequence is finding the last term because it uses the general formula. Same goes with the other choices, which is B, C, and D. It will also show how the program come up with the final answer. It will show the sequence and it will show the formula and it will substitute the variables into the formula and come up with the final answer. So instead of erasing all the variable, we will just type here Y if we're going to calculate again and it will show again the selection or the choices. If the user input are invalid, it will just print you put an invalid choice and the program will ask again if you want to calculate. If the user input wrong variable, it will print please input the integer and it will ask again the user to input another integer until the input is correct just like this one if we select no it will print see you later and exit the program that's all for my program thank you for listening